The bad, bad, the baddest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, you never really plan for all these things, man. Vibe. It was, it was a vibe. It was a vibe. There's a decent relationship between entertainers out here, and it's it's good to see. Tell me about the experience of you know getting the inspiration and saying I want to do a version of this is Nigeria. Um, at that point in time, I was already sort of writing some lyrics you know in in that direction you know I, i've always been a conscious artist you know so i've always been writing stuff that have to do with like you know what's going on around me so i had those lyrics uh, in mind and then i heard the song and i saw the video i was like this is an amazing record and you know the way that this guy has shot this video is you know equally dope and then i was i was having a conversation with a friend of mine he was just like you know, it would be dope if someone did like a Nigerian version of This Is America and just, you know, just did a This Is Nigeria. And at that point in time, I don't even think he knew what he had dropped in me. <laughs> but I just like sat back and I took that. I was like, oh shit. Before the end of that day, I had written and recorded the entire track. <laughs> So after you met your friend, you literally after that you went to the studio. Straight, I went straight to the studio. I got the uh, got the instrumental done. I um, wrote like the entire song and recorded the entire song. So everything was already done by that night. And um, I remember being in the car and playing it for my manager, and he was like, "Yo, <laughs> when did you even get the time to do this?" I was like, "Yo, I just did this today, man, straight up." And I think that this work of art is not complete if I don't have a video to represent what I'm talking about. You know, and I think a great idea would be to do almost like a parody type version of the original. I called up this guy, um, Prodi Jeezy. Big shout out to Prodi Jeezy. Dope, dope, dope filmmaker. And um, I was like, this is what I'm trying to do. I shared the idea with him. And in like, I told him, guy, I'm trying to do this a sap. And um, I think he was in, he was in Port Harcourt at the time. He wasn't in Lagos. And he came straight down to Lagos like the next day. And we planned this in maybe like two, two days. And the, that day, the day, the day of the shoot, we were there like morning till night. And that was it. By the next day, the video was ready. Because he, he didn't really have to do any cuts. It was one take. Like. 100 takes <laughs> but when we got that one take that was all we needed because it, it's literally not much editing work because it's just that simple yeah, yeah. one take continuous going around and around so but it must have been a lot of work to put together the set the people the choreo yeah you know the movement the, everything was you know that was a lot but you know that's what we do man it's our work okay so when it blew up completely did you expect this i didn't see it coming though I didn't, <laughs> I didn't see it coming there. I um, it was Democracy Day, I think. That, uh, you didn't even plan for it to be on this day. Didn't plan. It just happened to be Democracy Day that um, that um, that year. This was 2018, I believe. Yeah, it just happened to be, and I was like, okay, oh shit, great, great opportunity to drop this, and um, I I just put it out. Then yo, you know this. This is everything that we're going through, and you know, this is how I've decided to um, express it. How did it come um, to a point where you were even meeting with Diddy? Because I know he posted you, and it was just really great to see that. And now I'm always telling artists like, you better have your um, content dope because you really don't know who's who's watching or who might, you know, hit you up. Everyone Tell me. Is watching, to be honest, everyone is watching. And you know you need to act like that at, at all times. And um, so, like you said, it, it just blew up. It just blew up. It was trending everywhere, so many different countries. And um, it was it was moving really fast. And before I knew it, Diddy posted it up. I was like, oh wow, <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't even see that coming. I didn't expect it. It was crazy. And um, and um, I. You know yeah, wait, what they say, shoot your shot. I shot my shot. I was like, yo, 
appreciate you know you supporting your boy out here in Nige, you know i happen to be going to the states so i was like yo i'm gonna be in the states it would be dope to link up sometime and he, he's such a down-to-earth guy he's actually such a dancer because he was just like yo hit me up if you're in la so don't worry i will be in la <laughs> i will be in la dear. you don't worry about that <laughs> As soon as I hit, as soon as I landed in LA, I hit him up. Say, yo, I'm in LA. Where, where we gonna link up? Send me the address, straight up, <laughs> straight up. He sent me the address. I went there, and we met up. It was, it was no, it was, it was, it was really, really, really like eye opening. You know, just being able to sit with such an absolute legend, such an icon. You know, in terms of entertainment as a whole, you know, someone that has really, 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 really uh, set the pace for a lot of things. And you know, we just sat down, and had a chat. I got the chance to play him some more music. And at that time, I was still working on the Moral Instruction project, so I played him some of the stuff on there. You know, and you know, he just sort of shared some wise words. And um, yeah, it was it was a great, great meeting slash hangout session. Yeah. Look at you now. <laughs> Look at you. I told you guys I only hang out with stars. This is so amazing. Congratulations again. Just watch your Instagram very closely. I'm going to be dropping something very soon.